This video is going to show you step by step how to set up your .ens name in just a few minutes using Rainbow Wallet. Okay, so we're going to be using Rainbow Wallet to facilitate the creation of our ENS name. And the first thing we're going to do is go over to the App Store and then we're going to search for Rainbow Wallet and we're going to download the app. Two seconds later. Okay, we can go ahead and open the app. We're going to click Get get new wallet. I'm going to do backup to iCloud and I'm going to create a password. Two seconds. Okay. Next, we're going to go to the ENS registrar. So we're going to do app.ens.domains and we're going to search for our desired domain. So we're going to click connect. We're going to select wallet connect and then we're going to select rainbow wallet and then we are going to authorize this connection. So now we've used Rainbow Wallet to connect to the DAP for the ENS registration. All right, so we're gonna buy some ETH real quick. Okay, so now that we have some ETH in our wallet, we can confirm this transaction and that will have a cost associated with it as any write operation on the Ethereum blockchain has a cost. And we're just gonna step through this flow here. It takes a couple minutes. 12 seconds later. Okay, we're gonna click register and then we're gonna click confirm. Okay, so we now own this ENS name. Okay, so this is all the information and metadata associated with the ENS name. And what we're gonna wanna do is supply some of this information like a URL, maybe a Twitter handle, maybe a description, keywords, avatar, etc. So I'm going to fill out some of this information. 12. Okay, and then confirming the metadata is going to be another transaction. So we're going to have to authorize that. Real quick, unlike Ethereum, there is no gas limit on expressing your gratitude. So go ahead and hit that like button. Thank you. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to buy an NFT that we can use as our avatar. And we got to make sure that it's an Ethereum ERC721 NFT. So I'm going to purchase that on OpenSea. Then I will transfer it to the dataslayer.eth wallet address. So if you're going to reference an avatar, it has to be held by the same ENS name. So what we're doing is we're transferring our newly purchased NFT from OpenSea to our ENS wallet address. It has to reside there in order for us to use it as the avatar. Okay, so I have my NFT here and I wanna use this as my avatar for my ENS name so that when I use my ENS name to log into certain dApps and things like that, it will auto render an avatar. So I'm opening up my NFT in OpenSea and what I'm trying to do here is construct the URL schema which ENS requires for setting your NFT avatar. There's a blog post here that is a good resource and I'm just going to copy kind of the format that's utilized here. And you can see it says EIP 155 colon 1 forward slash ERC 721 colon contract address forward slash token ID. So the only information that you have to swap out here is the contract address and the token ID. And these are both determined by OpenSea and Etherscan. So you can reference those to find those values. Okay, so I'm just going to connect to the ENS service here. Okay, I'm just going to confirm the metadata changes for my ENS name. And that's going to pull me over to Rainbow Wallet. Okay, so I'm going to buy a little bit more ETH so I can pay for the ENS metadata transaction. So I'm going to do that with Rainbow Wallet. Okay, so that purchase went through. So now we can go back to the ENS registrar and we're going to submit the metadata changes with our URL, keywords, description, and our avatar. So unfortunately, that information, the metadata won't show on OpenSea or even Rainbow Wallet, but it will show on other applications that are ENS aware. Okay, one caveat to keep in mind when setting your NFT avatar for your ENS name is that the NFT must be an Ethereum NFT and it must also be using the ERC721 standard. So most marketplaces, for instance, OpenSea, will provide these details. So for instance, this NFT is on the Ethereum blockchain, that's great, but it's the wrong standard. It's ERC1155. This is not supported by ENS, so this would not render 
properly. Whereas this guy, this is what I ended up using for my avatar. It's on Ethereum and it's ERC721, therefore it would work. Now to get it to work, we just have to construct the URL schema using the contract address, token ID, and a couple other values. Okay, so I do wanna show you real quick how to construct the URL that you would plug in for your avatar on app.ens.domains. So it's always gonna be EIP 155 colon one forward slash ERC 721, the token standard, colon, this right here is the uh, contract address for the NFT. So the way you can get that is if you come to OpenSea and view your NFT, it would be this guy right here. And it's also gonna be available on Etherscan, so you just copy that. And then forward slash token ID. Token ID again is gonna be uh, visible on OpenSea, so it's right here. And then that gives you your, your URL that you will plug in as your avatar for your ENS name. So now when we go to app.ens.domains and we authenticate using Rainbow Wallet, we can see the MetaMask associated with our ENS name. See, I put a URL in there, but I also put in my NFT, my ERC721 NFT, to serve as my avatar. And uh, it's kind of a random NFT, but I, I just bought it for this purpose. And so when I traverse different websites, if I authenticate using my ENS name, it will be able to auto pull in information like my description, my URL, my Twitter handle, my email, and my avatar. As always, if you wanna stay apprised of the latest around emerging tech, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks.